Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon. Uh, thank you for today class. InsyaAllah we will discuss on the uh, the topic of uh, what is takaful. Okay, uh, I will share my screen now. Okay, I hope that you can see my screen. Okay, uh, I think since the very first class, I have discussed um, um, maybe a little bit uh, information on the takaful, the difference between the takaful and the conventional insurance. Okay, and then uh, in the when we discuss about risk, we also have touched about the differences between the conventional insurance and the takaful which mainly on the three prohibited elements which are riba, gharar and maisir okay and then after that we discuss about the historical uh, part of the takaful why the takaful exists in what year and uh, how many countries that have uh, offered or practices the or offered the the takaful products and uh, I think last class we have discussed about the parties that involve in takaful. So there are four parties. The first one is takaful operator and second one is takaful participant. Third one is uh, beneficiary and nominee. Okay and then for today uh, we will uh, discuss uh, more detail on what takaful. Okay and then uh, the uh, the the legal aspect of the takaful, the definitions from the, the the legal definitions, and also the Quranic and the hadis uh, that uh, allow the practice of the takaful. Okay, so these are uh, some questions on your revision part. You should be able to answer what is risk, and then how many types of risk, and then what types of risk that will be covered by takaful or insurance, and how to handle risk. And then what is insurance? Why it is prohibited in the Islam? Eh? Okay, so focus for today, we will focus on the definitions of the takaful, the basis and legality, the underlying principle in takaful, the sharia methodology, and also the, the comparison between takaful and conventional insurance. Okay, and the definitions of the takaful, takaful basically is derived from the Arabic, from an Arabic word, which is the, the root word of of takaful is kafala and then after that becomes takafala and takaful when there is uh, uh, ta here okay uh, it means that join or share guarantee okay uh, okay so kafala uh, okay. okay so what is kafala Kafala is the root word of takaful. What is kafala? Kafala means to be responsible, guarantee and indemnity eh? or indemnify. When there is ta there, it means join. Takafala, join, guarantee, shared responsibility, collective assurance. Okay, so takaful is join or shared responsibility or, or liability among the participants that involve. As we can see in the, in the figure here, there are uh, many peoples or five peoples that sit in a one uh, sampan. Eh? Okay. And then, okay, then uh, takaful means mutual guarantee, indemnity and protections. Whereby the participants are mutually contribute to the same fund. These are the technical definitions of the takaful, how it is practiced. Eh? So the participants mutually contribute to the same fund and mutually guarantee to indemnify fellow participants in the events of calamity, harm or peril. For example, in our class, uh, all of you or five of you uh, have agreed okay, to be responsible to each other. So, uh, responsible on what? Okay, if responsible to protect any loss that that involving uh, money, so you are also responsible to to pay or to contribute, so that there are there there is a collections of funds to be to be used in, in future in case something happens to any of of you. Okay, so in order to mutually indemnify, mutually guarantee and protect it. So that is why all of the participants, all of you agree to contribute sums or portions of money. Okay, for the sake of that, a mutual contribution, uh, indemnify. 
And then legal definitions uh, from uh, in IFSA 2013. So takaful is an arrangement based on mutual assistance under which takaful participants agree to contribute to a common fund providing for mutual financial benefits payable to the takaful participants or their beneficiaries eh, on the occurrence of a pre-agreed event. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what is takaful and arrangement? Eh? It is arranged eh? based on mutual assistance under which takaful participants agree to contribute to a common fund, which is we call takaful fund, and to provide for, for mutual financial benefits payable to the takaful participant themselves or their beneficiary. Okay, if we can recall back what is the beneficiary, the first beneficiary will be the participant themselves and second beneficiary beneficiaries when the participant uh, die, so we'll go to the family members. Okay, on the occurrence of pre-agreed event. So pre-agreed event meaning that the risk itself that already agreed uh, at the initial stage when they signed uh, the takaful contracts they already agreed uh, to to have this list of uh, protections like uh, death protections that we call death benefit accidents or uh, hospitalization hospital bills or or any events it is pre event eh? not after that event eh? and then what is takaful business the business relating to the administration management and operations of a takaful fund for its takaful participants which may involve elements of investment and saving and include three takaful business okay, it is business to administrate admin okay so takaful operator will become administrator manager and operator that is why we call them as takaful operator not a takaful company okay because in the conventional definitions company's aim is to maximize uh, profit but the operator it aims is to administer and management manage the fund on behalf of the takaful participants at, at their best eh? for takaful fund for its takaful participant which may involve elements of investment so the takaful operator will make investment we involve with in, in, uh, investment will invest the fund okay to any sharia compliant investment platform and also savings uh, savings for another offered by the takaful products and also include re takaful business so re takaful business is actually to to um to take care of or to provide a second layer of protection to the takaful participant okay so but from the participant they bring their risk and then to mutually protected and the risk the risk fund here the takaful fund is managed by takaful operator and then there will be a re takaful operator to also cover the risk funds uh, that uh, risk fund of the takaful participant okay yeah? okay i want to I just want to check whether this session is and then Okay, thank you. Yeah. Then you have received the, the screen. Okay, uh, the previous act, which is the Takaful Act 1984, defines Takaful uh, quite a uh, difference from IFSA 2013. So, Takaful Act 1984 uh, defined Takaful is a scheme based on brotherhood, solidarity, and mutual assistance elements of brotherhood is there. Eh? So, which provide for mutual financial aid and assistance to the participant in case of need. This one, this one is similar, whereby the participant mutually agree to contribute for the purpose uh, for the purpose is for the protection so this one seems except the elements of brotherhood okay um, um maybe uh if so 2013 define the couple more on technical term eh? and then i'll see the accounting standard of uh uh, Islamic financial institutions okay, in the Middle East um, define uh, takafu is a process of agreement among a group of persons. This one definitions from the accounting perspective. So accountant, they are most they are more uh, details. So that is why they detail out even in the definition. Eh? So a process of agreement among a group of persons to handle the injuries 
resulting from specific risks to which all of them are vulnerable, involve payment of contributions as donations and leads to the establishment of an insurance fund that enjoys the status of legal entity and has independent financial stability. This fund is used to indemnify and partic any participant who encounters injuries subject to a specific set of rules and a given process of documentation. And then the fund is managed by either a selected group of policyholders or a joint stock of company that manage the insurance operations and invest the asset of the fund against a specific fee. Okay, so uh, so details about the definitions of takaful uh, from the perspective of account. Okay, so basic descriptions of the takaful that, that I can summarize are uh, is here through the diagram here. So whereby a collective uh, uh, takaful participants they are mutually they be comes uh they participate into a scheme here more than one participant they contribute uh, the fund uh, okay they, the monthly contribution that they contribute then we call a tabarok fund and this, this fund will be channeled to takaful fund or risk fund because the fund will be used to protect any risk to pay for any losses because of risk and this fund is managed by uh, this fund is managed by takaful operator eh? Takaful operator manage, manage the fund. Okay, here from Takaful participant, they contribute to the fund through the contract of Tabarok contract, which is unilateral contract, only them. No, it is not a bilateral exchange contract, no. They are willingly, they are seeking uh, to contribute to the Takaful fund. Okay, no need the other party to, uh, to say accept. So offer is done because this is donation contract. Only one party make offer to contribute into the fund. And then after that, the full operator become a trustee that um, becomes a manager, operator and administer of the uh, administrator to, to the Takaful fund here. Okay. So the concept of Tabarok donation from the participant to the fund, they are themselves mutually indemnified the full contract and then the types of contract is unilateral okay so the takaful element mutual guarantee uh, which is liability loss is spread among the participant in effect the participants are both the insurer and the insured okay uh, it is compared it is not similar with the conventional one whereby the the policy holder is insured and the company become insurer but in takaful they themselves the participant become insurer and insured because they are mutually indemnify each other so ownerships of the fund the takaful participant are owners of the fund not not the takaful operator takaful operator has become a trustee or agent or a manager of the fund. Eliminate of uncertainty, so unilateral contract via Tabarok contract whereby all the participants voluntarily, this is not a buy and sell contract, okay, to mutually help in the case of any one of them incur loss without any predetermined monetary benefit. If you can recall back the elements of gharar or uh, uncertainty that we have discussed for the past weeks, um, uh, which is the, uh, because of the Takaful adopt or unilateral or Tabarok contract, not a buy and sell contract. That is why the subject matter is tolerated. Like if you want to donate something, that something or the subject matter does not necessarily exist in the times of the contract. Compared to the buy and sell contract, the subject matter must exist because uh, the parties are uh, mutual and or oh, it is a bilateral contract. It is exchange contract between two parties. One party uh, offer subject matter. The other party offer the, the counter of the subject matter, which is money, uh, with the certain subject matter. So that is why the subject matter must exist. Okay. Uh, so in Takaful, uh, they, we adopt a Tabarok contract, donation contract. So the risk itself does not necessarily exist. Okay, so management of the Takaful fund, the fund is managed by the operator who depending on the adopted model lah, or uh, uh, either Mudarabah or Wakala. If Mudarabah, then the Takaful operator 
operator becomes a, a mudarib. Okay, uh, so in mudaraba is profit sharing. So takkan full operator can share the profit from the investment with the participant. Whereby in wakala it is not profit sharing, it is just an agency contract. Whereby the takkan full operator they add, uh, they make investment on behalf of the takkan full participant. So that that is why they have no right to share the profit from the investment if that's the model that they adopt eh, in their business. And in investment conditions, all investment must be sharia compliant. So the underlying concept in takaful, tabaruk and ta'awun. Tabaruk we have discussed which means donation. So takaful involve a unilateral contract or a contract or donation. So every participant in the takaful scheme would contribute their money into the takaful fund uh, as a donation without having any considerations to make a profit out of the contributed funds. So this will eliminate the elements of, of uncertainty which is gharar uh, in terms of the subject matter that involved in the contract. So two pillars in the tabarok concept no counter value and uh, and intentions and eh? no counter value meaning that the no the donation that are given and then they should have shouldn't have any intention to receive anything at all so uh, all are uh, basically a mutually help and assist if one party incur loss the operator will use the money their money eh? uh, the the risk fund or the takaful fund that they collected, the total of contributions will pay for the for the needy. Okay? And the second concept is ta'awun. Ta'awun is an Arabic word which means mutual assistant. Uh, and then takaful products basically involve mutual aid agreement between the participant who agreed to, con to mutually guarantee and protect each other in certain defined circumstances. It basically brings to the spirit of social responsibility and a strong sense of brotherhood which is taught by the Islamic religion. So mutually helping each other. So when the participant first uh, involve or participate into the takaful scheme they should have this uh, the spirit of tabaru and ta'awun okay if not it is similar with the conventional one their their main intention is to receive money at the end of the day yeah? And then the Sharia methodology that underlines the practice of takaful from the Al Quran, from Hadith and Islamic legal maxim or Islamic theory. The first in the Al Quran in Surah Al Maidah verse two meanings and cooperate in righteousness and pity, but do not cooperate in sin and aggressions and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is severe in penalty. Okay, and then uh, Hadith. Uh, this one had this uh, related to the camel. One day, the Prophet Muhammad SAW saw a Badawin just left his camel without tying it. So the Prophet Muhammad asked the Badawin, why don't you tie your camel first? And then the Badawin answered, I put my trust in Allah. Then the Prophet Muhammad said, tie your camel first and then put your trust in Allah. Yes, we have our God. But but first thing, first we have to make an uh, effort okay, to do something to protect for any uh, loss or any uncertainty. So that is why we need to put effort first, seek protections, and then we can say that we have our God, our God will uh, take care of everything uh, for us. Okay, And then uh, hadith from Bukhari and Muslim, believers are to other believers like parts of structure that tighten and reinforce each other. This uh, represent the concept of mutual assistance or ta'awun okay, in a society. Islamic legal maxim or Islamic theory that uh, underline the takaful practice is uh, in this hadith, uh, Rasulullah said, uh, Okay, um, and Abi Said, Said Ibn Malik bin Sinan al Khadri, radiallahu anhu, and an Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, kala la darar wala dirar. Okay, these are the gist of the hadith, la darar wala dirar. Okay, no, uh, no, please, uh, no harm. Eh? Do not inflict or create or reciprocate or res respond to. To harm, meaning that harm is to be eliminated. Okay, uh, if damage has occurred, effort should be made to remove it. 
okay uh, so this hadith uh, actually encourage us to uh, to prevent any harm and to not bring any uh, harm to other people okay and now and now uh, what you can see here what's the difference between uh, these two okay uh, calf eh? so within just um, apa sekelip mata we can see there is no difference between these two but if we we uh, scrutinize and we detail it out we see through uh, both are uh, basically different uh, different eh? it's also same with the takaful and the conventional insurance uh, which is uh, if we know the spirit the underlying concept in takaful which is it is not similar like buy and selling of protection it is basically a scheme of mutual indemnification mutual assistance in a society so when they involve participate in the takaful scheme they should have that uh, kinds of uh, kind intentions to help others okay at the same time Okay, the difference between takaful and conventional insurance, takaful is comply with the sharia because the concept that is practiced is uh, parallel to the sharia spirit, whereby the conventional, they just uh, actually uh, seeking for, for money and profit. That is why the terms, the conditions that they apply do not take care of the fairness to the to the policyholder so the company simply can do anything uh, in their in their products and in their contract okay but in the takafu because comply with the sharia basically uh, because we have our regulator here so bank negara malaysia would always uh, observe and also screen the practice of the takaful in the market so that it's comply with the with the sharia which to bring benefits to the society at large eh? and then the takaful practice a unilateral contract and then conventional practice bilateral contract contract of exchange buy and sell contract between the policy holder and the uh, and the company and then takaful operator as trustee that manage the fund not give guarantee to the participant. Participants are the owners of the fund. They become insurer and insured. But in conventional insurance, insurance company as the owner of the fund and become the guarantor to the policy uh, holder. Okay, and then they become the seller. Seller is insurance company and buyer is a policy holder. Okay, so the participants mutually guarantee each other to the spirit of corporations virtual assistant, tabaru and taun and in conventional insurance the company guarantee the participant based on the economic factors. They make investment but the profit uh, is given based on their appetite. Eh? So takafu is free from riba, gara and maizir but conventional insurance they are free to practice these three elements. And for takafu there is a sharia committee to observe, to advise uh, the business but in conventional insurance, no sharia committee to monitor the business. So profit is shared between takaful operator and participant based on mudaraba or, or investment and, and performance fee. But profit is distributed based on the company decision for the conventional insurance. So uh, that's all okay, for, for this topic. How about this? What do you think? Is this orange or kiwi or kiwi? Ah, okay. So, what is, what is the most important? Is it the skin? Is it the content? Uh, for me, I think content is more important than the skin. Uh, because we want to taste the content, we want to feel it. Okay, we, we want to experience the taste. Not, not, we do not want to eat the skin, isn't it? Okay, so it's also same with the with the takaful. We should know uh, and understand more about the the takaful in terms of their contents, in terms of the spirit, the contract, and the, the parties that involve the roles and responsibilities of each parties that involve in the takaful business. Okay, so that's all for this topic. Assalamualaikum and thank you. Thank you.